Well, guess what? Just two weekends until Christmas. So many people counting down to the holiday, planning their gift lists, making their travel plans. It could be a record setting holiday for both retail and travel. ABC's Bianca Goladriga standing by with the extremes retailers are going to to get your dollars. But let's first go to ABC's Lisa Stark, who is tracking the latest on why this holiday could be very tricky for traveling. Lisa, good morning. <laughs> It could indeed, Amy. You know, traveling over the holiday is tricky and horrible often, no matter even in the best of times. But get a load of this. Now, hundreds of workers at New York's busy JFK airport threatening to go on strike on December 20th. These are the security guards, not at the checkpoint, but they direct traffic. They make sure the gates are secure. It could add to the chaos of what will be an expensive and crowded travel time for anyone in the air. Planes will be packed. The airline trade group says 85 to 90 percent of the seats will be filled. And the holiday trip will cost you more than last year, 9 percent more, according to Travelocity. Nonstop ticket prices for Christmas week are nearly double what they were at the beginning of December. The average price of a round trip domestic ticket is over $400 round trip. That's a big bite out of someone's wallet, especially when you multiply that across several family members. If you're still on the fence about whether to take that Christmas flight, decide fast. The time to book was weeks ago, but if you haven't booked yet, you have to pull the trigger right now. Prices are going up not every day, but every single hour you wait. Looking for cheaper fares? Travelocity says your best bet is Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. The most expensive days to fly are December 21st and 22nd and returning on December 30th. That can cost you an extra $500 a ticket. And if you can be flexible, there are less expensive destinations. Think Florida, Denver, and Los Angeles, all because of fierce airline competition. Connecting flights are often cheaper, as are those short hops of less than an hour. And be careful how you pack your bags. Too many of them or too heavy, and those bag fees can cost you more than the ticket. And if you're skipping the plane and going by car, well, that's going to be packed, too. The roads may be busier than they have been in some six years. That's because gasoline prices have plummeted. You'll pay less, more, less than a dollar more a gallon than you would have last year. So, Amy, at least that's a nice Christmas present. That's right. More money for shopping. Lisa Stark, thanks so much.